They are an eye in the sky, whether it's an armed robbery, hot pursuit, or search for a missing person. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office's the aviation unit is playing a role. The department has three helicopters that take off at all hours of the day and night from Jacksonville Executive at Craig Airport. Many of you at home call us when you spot one of the helicopters in the air. So for the first time, News 4 Jacks reporter Vic Michalucci got the green light to fly along with the police pilots who work to protect our city from high above. When we launch on a call, we, we try to get out within seven minutes. They are ready at a moment's notice. That's a person suicidal, that they're going to request an area. And the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office's air unit is on call day and night. That's being 14 degrees to the left. We flew with pilots Lou Ferreira and Carl Oder to see firsthand how they protect the streets from the sky. He's mobile on a scooter, so we're looking for anything that's moving down the street that will be on a scooter. This search ends well. Officers on the ground find the missing suicidal man and get him the help that he needs. It's all in a day's work. Our day ranges from missing persons to suicides to pursuits to robberies. It's, you know, that's part of your job is not always just to catch the bad guy, but always to help people, citizens that are in need of help. JSO has three helicopters and 12 pilots. All are sworn police officers who got flight training right here within the air unit. Very lucky to be here. Extremely lucky to be here. With a top speed of about 150 miles an hour and the ability to land just about anywhere, these helos are a big asset. All right, you can start breaking her down. The hail is clear. Here, the chopper blocked two burglary suspects from getting away. Get me over. And with miles of waterways in the River City, the pilots can often get to marine incidents first, like this time with a drowning woman in the Intracoastal. The co-pilot jumping out and keeping her afloat until a rescue boat comes. Hey, sweetheart, you've got to stay down in here for me right now. This is an area that we get called out to a lot during the summer afternoons for people that are either get knocked off their jet ski or they go under. It's a team operation. We keep everything around here operating. Flight mechanics are always making sure the aircraft are up to speed and safe. All right. Ready for whatever could happen. JSO using the choppers for the dive team, the SWAT team, recon, and emergency evacuations. It's a special group here, a family that these officers feel privileged to be a part of. Do you feel like you're able to save lives? Absolutely. You can go home and sleep at night going, well, we found the 88-year-old woman that was in danger, that was in need. You, you feel good about that. In the skies above Duval County, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. The officers say that they want to stay in touch with the community that they love, and they really enjoy showing school children what it is that they do, showing those helicopters, and they want everyone to know that their entire focus when they're up there in the sky is just helping the people of Jacksonville. And you know how comforting is it when there's chaos on the ground, those sirens, those lights flashing, yeah. you look up knowing there are people who have a handle on everything that's going on right then. It's just that added letter, level of protection and comfort, you know? Good deal.